Hey, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to, to the 22nd annual academic award ceremony at Joseph Case High School. So before, um, before we, we kick off the events, let's begin this formal celebration of academic excellence with a formal salute to the flag led by Assistant Principal Chris Costa. Please rise. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic which stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice. Thank you and good morning everyone. In addition to our students in front of us, members of the senior, junior, and sophomore classes who are being celebrated uh, this morning for academic excellence. I welcome moms, dads, families uh, who, have, who have come to bear witness to the event as well. I also uh, would be remiss if I did not uh, point out some of, our, some of our educational village that has uh, taken time out of their, their, their very busy schedule to uh, share in with us. Uh, today. First of all, uh, Superintendent of Schools, Mr. John Rabideau. We have our Assistant Superintendent of Schools, Elizabeth White. Our Director of Student Services, Dr. Julie Gurrell. Representing our K-2 through schools from the Hoyle School, Mr. Billy Corville. Representing our three to five schools, Mr. Sean Patrick Scanlon. From Joseph Case Junior High School, Robert Silvera. Mr. Corvo, Mr. Scanlon, Mr. Silvera. All graduates of Joseph Case High School, by the way. That's right. And, from, and our media contingent today, from the press pool, Mr. Bill Hall from The Spectator. Let's give it up for Bill Hall. This morning's one of my favorite days of the year. Earlier this week, I was at a meeting on a, on a blue ribbon panel about gender equity in the state of Massachusetts in terms of schools. And in that meeting, which was, had a lot of information for me, I get this email from Reston, Virginia, from the National Association of Secondary School Principals, and it basically said, Brian, your blog is due on Friday. I was like, reply, awesome, exclamation point, inside. I had no idea I was supposed to write a blog for this Friday. So I've been reflecting on it. And what I came up with for my topic and I know you will all be waiting with bated breath for its digital publication coming up in a month, is the necessity for renewal. Renewal as building leaders, renewal as educators, and how I find renewal of, of, of purpose, renewal in my life from very simple events. Much of what my blog will focus on or what the digital options will be. But when I was thinking about that this morning, I realize when we, when we come together as a community, when we come together as a family, when we come together with students and all the wonderful people who have supported them, it is renewing for us. It is renewing for us as educators because it makes the work. And sometimes as building leaders, we get stuck at the computer and we get stuck in the minutia and we get, get stuck in the muck and the mire and problems of the day. And it's very easy to forget the children for a, few, for a few minutes. And I think that would be the case if I was a superintendent of schools or an assistant superintendent of schools, that we just get so caught up in adult things that sometimes we forget the children temporarily. Swansea, a little different. I know we have our moniker, student come first. But just when we get all bogged down, sometimes we forget it. And that's why it's important that we reach out and embrace our elementary school teachers and leaders. We embrace our middle school teachers and leaders because they're all part of this wonderful village who has helped make us what we are today. So this gathering for me, personally and professionally, is renewing because we see 
not only hope, we see not only promise, we see results. And when I was thinking this morning, driving from Rehoboth at about 6.30 this morning, I said, oh my gosh, it's Thursday. I have no idea what I'm going to write for my sign. I, um, I thought about you, and I thought about the reasons you're here. And I think it's very simple. It's not because, it's not because you were born ever so talented, though I'm sure some of you were. I don't think it's because of that. I think it comes down to one reason you're here. You work hard. So it's not always about talent. It's not because you live in a nice house on a nice street in a nice section of a nice town in southeastern Massachusetts. This morning, it's because you worked hard. And the people who are surrounding you, your parents, and your educators, and your leaders, and your media, they've supported you, and they've prodded you, and they've pushed you to work hard. So, keep up the good work, boys and girls, here. We have different types of awards today. We have our awards that really will honor um, academic success, which has been gauged by honor roll. So if you've been on the honor roll for one year, whether you're a sophomore or you, you became a junior and it was the first time on, your, on the honor roll, or you become a senior and it's the first time on your honor roll, we're going to honor your one-year status on the honor roll through uh, certificates. So this is how I think we should do it. We're going to enter the stage when I call your name over there on audience left, my world stage right. You're going to cross behind me and exit here. So we just have a nice, seamless transition of people. So the awkward part of this is, well, do we clap or do we not clap? Well, that's going to take so long. I'm going to go all kind of drama festival on us here. So when I call, so when I call someone's name, we're just going to give one clap. So when I say, who's that? When I, see, when I say Abigail Beaudry, we're just going to go, that's it. <laughs> and at the end, we can have raucous applause for the certificate winners, and we'll repeat that, okay? Are you with me on here? Let's just do one rehearsal right now. Abigail Beaudry, you guys are awesome. No, 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 it's just a rehearsal, sweetheart, okay. I, ap I appreciate your attention to detail, though, Ab. Are you ready? Buckle down, here we have our 2018 certificate recipients. Kylie Abdow. Faith Afonso. Sydney Alves. Caleb Aruda. Tori Ashley. Nicole Bassett. Jillian Beaupre. Brandon Betancourt. Corinne Boyer, Sydney Boyer, Riley Burgess, Michaela Bushel, Colby Campus, Kaylee Cardozo, Zachary Carmelo, Michael Sincagrana, Stephen Canos, Haley Correa, Emma Costa, Cage Davis, Luke Escobar, Alexia Fontaine, Brianna Freitas, Michaela Froment, Tyler Gaspar, Trey Godfrey, Sydney Goulet, Emily Graham, Dorian Grant, Juliana Heaton, Clarissa Howard, Alexander Janicki, Taylor Corey, Daniel Lacey, Elizabeth LePage, Riley Machado, Natasha Malone, Brooklyn Martins, Mariah Medeiros, 
Brianna Michael, Keegan Monas, Daniel Wien, Matthew Oliveira, Noah Paglieroni, Benjamin Paquette, Sean Patota, Nathan Petter, Emma Pinto, Tanya Pont, Jared Ribello, Madison Reese, Sydney Resendiz, Allison Ribeiro, Samantha Rigo, Cole Rocha, Zachary Silva, Emma Soares, Alyssa Storm, Brennan Thacker, Cameron Vasconcelos, Troy Ventura, Annie Zhang. A raucous round of applause, please, for our certificate. You guys did awesome. Our next set of awards are bronze medalists. Bronze medalists have been on the honor roll for two years. Sometime it's consecutively, sometime it's not. Uh, so, we, uh, th that you guys did great. It was a little rehearsal for it. So let's, let's bring it up nice and strong. If the kids could not talk during, between each name, that would be even more awesome here. So let's begin our second phase of the 2018 bronze medalist with Amber Arruda, Mackenzie Arruda, Haley Barboza, Kaylin Bopri, Drew Borden, Megan Borges, Victoria Camara, Ashley Carvalho, Samuel Chase, Christopher Costa II, Bradley Deliker, Abigail Damaris, Alexandria Duby, Tori Durand, Clayton Dyer, Aiden Emerson, Ariel Ferreira, Victoria Ferry, Ellen Fitzsimons, Sydney Hader, Joshua Hockert Lott. Jared Koger, Sean Cooey, Jasmine Lacerda, Nicholas Lanigan, Keegan LeCompe, Jessica Lima, Logan Mortelli, Ryan Martin, Sophia Miranda, Haley Nelson, Shaley Allerhead, Mackenzie Orton, Julia Pacheco, Holly Paquette, Amara Paradiso, Andrea Rodriguez, Lillian Rodriguez Tavares, Gina Rounds, Noah Santos, Lance Schechter, Daniel Silva, Alyssa Souza, Cameron Sullivan, Brendan Tebow, Jenna Tebow, Dylan Tibetot, Austin Wildnauer, Hannah Woods, and Kyla Zora. There it is. Awesome.
Our silver medalists have been on the honor roll three years, so three consecutive years here. So they're all uh, juniors here, at, I'm sorry, they're all seniors here at Joseph Case High School, and all are eligible for the very prestigious gold medal that will be distributed on uh, class night. So anyway, so here we are, our 2018 silver medalists. Henning Anderson. Kristen Anselmo. Andrew Baptista, Zachary Barreo, Abigail Beaudry, Devin Belial, Gabriella Bello, Samantha Shapet, Rylan Costa, Veronica Costa, Rachel Davidson, Jacob Estrella, Alisa Fielhauer, Christopher Ferreira, Kyle Furtado, Jonathan Gadry, Connor Higson, Courtney Jacobson, Nathaniel Kigley, Liam McKenzie, Madison Medeiros, Cassandra Melker, Zachary Miranda, Annabella Piva, Benjamin Podesky, Lauren Resendiz, Jeremy Rocha, Jennifer Rodericks, Rebecca Rodericks, Catherine Soper, Jamie Travis, and Jenna Zhang. Robust applause for our silver medalists. The final part, final part of our academic awards ceremony is the announcement of our John and Abigail Adams 2018 scholarship qualifiers. <clears throat> the Adams Scholarship provides tuition waivers for up to eight semesters of undergraduate education at many Massachusetts state colleges and universities. The scholarship must be used within six years of a student's high school graduation. In order to be eligible, students must score at the advanced performance level on at least one of the three high school state assessments in ELA, math or science, score at the proficient level or higher on the remaining two other assessments, and have a combined score from the three tests that place, uh, places each student in the top 25% of the students gradu graduating in this particular cohort from Swansea Public Schools. So the success is a culmination of everything. This is all of the state tests and the hours and days that we have spent since third grade being tested. Uh, this is the culmination uh, of that. So it's, it's an opportunity for the state to give back a little bit to you in the terms of tuition waivers. You're going to be getting a, a folder with some really, really important information. So as a parent, 
when my daughters got this, I was like, give me that. Give me that right now so I can put it away so they wouldn't lose it here. It's not something that you want to treat haphazardly because when you get your bill from, mine was from UMass Amherst, they want a copy each year of this letter. And it's like having a credit. So that's pretty good. And it, it, will, it will come up to, I mean, it's more than $1,000, um, but the, the amount does vary from year to year. Anyway, it gives me great pride on behalf of Swansea Public Schools to announce our 2018 scholarship qualifiers. I think for our scholarship qualifiers, we're going to do respectable applause in between each name, okay? We'll kind of shake it up a little here. Henning Anderson. <laughs> Kristen Anselmo. <laughs> Andrew Baptista. <laughs> Zachary Barreo. <laughs> Jillian Bopri. Rylan Costa. Rachel Davidson. Cole Escobar. Jacob Estrella. Alisa Fielhauer. Christopher Ferreira. <laughs> Kyle Furtado. <laughs> Nicholas Gerling. <laughs> Sydney Greenlee. <laughs> Connor Higson. <laughs> Courtney Jacobson. Nathaniel Kigley. Cameron McCombs. Liam McKenzie. Madison Medeiros. Cassandra Melker. Zachary Miranda. Ryan Nascimento. <laughs> Annabelle Paiva. <laughs> Emily Poitras. <laughs> Lauren Resendiz. <laughs> Jeremy Rocha. <laughs> Jennifer Rodericks. Rebecca Rodericks. Lillian Rodriguez Tavares. Catherine Soper. Jamie Travis. And Naya Young. Thank you very, very much for attending this morning. If you were an Adams uh, scholarship qualifier, we ask that you just come down to the front of the stage so the spectator takes a nice picture, which I hope will be on the front page of next week's paper. I can ask, right? I can ask. This, what? Oh, above the fold, right. No, that's right, John. I appreciate that. Above the fold. Who would like to see our picture on the front page about that? Mr. Hall, the people are speaking, that's all. Anyway, thank you so much um, uh, for our seniors and for our, our guests and family. Please join us for a little reception in the learning commons. The rest of you have a great day. We're so proud of you. Adam's qualifiers right down here. <laughs>